Hi everybody. It is time to start weaving our first rug on the new warp. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. We'll start with the scrap strips that go in first, the hem, the actual body of the rug, and then how you end the weaving. So I hope this helps you guys and I will see you at the end to let you know what we're going to do for the next video. Okay, so we're ready to start the first rug since we've got the loom all strung up and the first thing I use are these strips of fabric. They're just scrap fabric and they're orange so they contrast well with the strings. And I run four of these before I start the hem of the rug just to get the strings all straight and make sure everything's running the way it's supposed to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the first scrap strip through. So I'm gonna push down on the right treadle and that opens up what they call the shed and that's what your shuttle passes through. Okay, so we're gonna put our first strip through. Right treadle down. And I just do this by hand. Pull it through your shed. Kind of center it up. We're gonna beat it down. And then switch pedals, which changes the harnesses and creates the cross that holds that strip of weaving in place. So then the next one, number two. Still got the treadle down. Put it through this way. Center it up. Beat it down. Second pedal. Beat it down. Okay, number three. So we're on my right treadle. Pull it through, center it up. Beat it down. Left treadle. Beat it down. And the last one, number four. Beat it down, switch turtles, and beat it down again. Okay, I've got the four scrap strips in, and now my strings are all nice and neat and straight. So the next thing we'll do then is go ahead and put a hem in before we start to weave in the weft. Let's do the hem. So I have a small shuttle here that I have cotton white string on. And that's what I use for all my hems. It's nice and durable. And it usually looks pretty nice as the hem for most of the rug colors. I pulled enough string off the shuttle to make sure that I can pass all the way through the strings. Okay, so I've got the right treadle down. I'm going to take the shuttle and pass it from the right through the shed. Leave a little bit of a tail. I'm going to go ahead and beat that down. Switch to my left treadle, beat that down again. Now I'm going to run it through from the left to the right. And you want to leave a little bit of an arch because if you pull too tight, your weaving will start to pull in. That gives your string a little extra space when you beat it down. Beat it down, change treadles, beat it down again. I usually do six rows for the hem, 
I'll finish that up and we'll come back and take a look. The hem is done. I did six rows. And here's what that looks like. I'm going to make this rug out of crocheted yarn. So what I'm doing is taking two different yarn colors. This one here is a self-striping skein and I haven't used that before so we'll see what that ends up looking like and then I just am running it with some black. And all I do is a simple, simple, sorry, can't talk this morning, simple chain stitch with my crochet hook. And then as I make the chains, I wrap it around my shuttle. It usually takes about six shuttles worth of weft for me to make the rug the size I like, which is around three feet long. So I'm gonna go ahead and crochet this up and start to load the shuttles and I'll show you the shuttles when they're done. Okay, I've got my shuttle ready to go, and we're gonna go ahead and start to weave the weft into the rug. So I'm gonna pull a little bit off to get started. And I've got the right treadle down. That's where we left off when we finished the hem. So that's where we wanna start again. So right treadle down, take your shuttle, right to left. Pull it through your shed, pull it through, and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. I think last time when we were doing the hem, I forgot to show you what you do with that, so I'll show you that this time. So we've pulled it through, right shuttle down, we're going to beat that down, switch shuttles to the left pedal, beat it down again. And that's our first row. Okay, so the first row's in. And we still have our tail here. So let me show you how we handle that. And we grab it. The left treadle's down. And we're gonna tuck it into the shed while we have it open. your edge nice and neat there and then all I'm gonna do is come down and just beat that down and leave it the way it is because we'll cover it when we come back with the next row so there's the first row with the tail in and we're ready to go ahead now and leave our rug all right, we've got the first row in, our tail tucked in, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to weave the rug. And I'll take pictures as we progress 
so you can see how that works and then when we get to the end I'll show you how to finish the rug off okay I'll see you in a bit The first few rows are done and I just wanted to remind you and show you again each row you do make sure you leave the arc or the arch with your weft as you beat it down to make sure that it's loose enough that it doesn't pull in as you weave Okay, so right now the brake is on and I need to take the brake off to let the string drop. So we just come around here and lift up the handle and that's let everything drop. Okay, so we're gonna take the carpet roll lever and start to adjust the tension again on the strings. And as you do that, it brings your weaving down and opens up more space so you can continue on. And when you adjust the tension, you just wanna bring it back to where it's springy, but not overly tight. At least not to the point we would think so. I finished weaving the body of the rug and this is a look at that it's wrapped around the carpet roller and it's a length that I want it to be so next I'm gonna go ahead and put in the six rows of the white hem and we'll look at that when it's done I don't know how to get it back This don't mean that you own me well This ain't no good In fact, it's phony as hell but things worked out just like you wanted to If you see me out You don't know me Try to turn your head Try to give me some room How to figure out just what I'm gonna do so our first rug is done we went through the whole process so for the next video I will show you guys how to take the rug off the loom and finish it off tie the fringe all that good stuff clean it up so we'll do that in the next video make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that and I will see you guys soon Why